Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the reasons why these books made me cry. So before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know a spoiler alert for any of you guys who haven't read any of these books. And if I do cry during any of these discussions on why these books made me cry, I apologize in advance because these books are so good that they just made me cry. So anyway, let's get on to the video. The first book I'm going to be talking about is Where the Crawdads Sing. And the reason why this book made me cry is because one of the side characters named Jumpin', who owned like some sort of like sea fish shop or something. He owned, he owned like this some sort of shop and he looked over Kaya as like a secondary, not necessarily a secondary father figure, but more of an uncle to her. And he died later on in the book of natural causes. And that's what made me cry. Cause Jumpin' was one of my favorite characters in the book. Um, I saw the movie first before reading the book and it, and it didn't make me cry when Jumpin' died. But when I read the book, I realized I cried when Jumpin' did die. And I felt so bad for the character because he was so sweet and kind to Kaya when her father really wasn't. He was more of like a, an abusive drunk who's got B PTSD from the war. So Jumpin' being there for Kaya was always a sweet thing to see and him dying was really, really sad. So anyway, on to the next book. The second book I'm gonna be talking about is in Archer's voice. The reason why this book made me cry is because Archer ended up getting shot. So what happened was um, Brie had some sort of traumatic past and that this robber came in to rob her father's deli and that same robber came in and followed her to Peleon, thanks to Victoria, ugh, and he ended up shooting Archer, which he was originally going to shoot Brie, but Archer ended up stepping in the way, protecting Brie. And I thought Archer was going to die, and I was like, no, Archer, my boy. And I started crying because I thought he was going to die, but it turned out, it turns out he was in a coma for a couple of weeks, and I was like, oh, thank God, because if Brie lost Archer, I feel like she would have just gone into a downward spiral depression. She would have just given up everything. And I felt so bad for both of them. But I'm just so glad Archer's okay and alive. Whew, that just made me feel relieved, but still made me cry nonetheless. Anyway, on to the next book. The next book I'm going to be talking about is Underneath the Sycamore Tree. And the reason why this book made me cry is because Emery went to the hospital because she was having a stroke. And it turns out she didn't have much time to live. And during her final moments, her mother sang to, to her daughter, Will, um, you are my sunshine. And that moment right there, when um, her mom was singing to her daughter, that broke me. It, it really did. It was really, really impactful. Her mom connecting, um, with um with Emery one final time before Emery got to get to pass on and we can already know as soon as the epilogue starts to fast forward two years Emery has already passed and it's sad another sad part was um when Caden ended up getting sticky notes of like little mice drawings that Caden used to draw um, and put on Emery's locker as like some sort of thing. And Emery has kept all those um, sticky notes and put them in a jar. And Caden has a collection of them because of Emery. And that was the sweetest thing. And it's just, it was really sad to see Emery go and die from her disease. And it's just really sad. So anyway, on to the next book. The next book I'm going to be talking about is all this time where Kyle and Marley started connecting as soon as Kyle woke up, woke up from his coma, Kyle tried so hard to connect with Marley. And then when Marley was FaceTiming Kyle, she ended up protecting a little, um, a little child from a car accident. And Marley ended up getting hit from a car wreck. And she had to go to the hospital. In that moment, Kyle was trying to connect to Marley saying, please don't go, please don't die. 
And then Marley said, I just have to say goodbye to my sister. And then we just, I just thought that she was just going to die, but no. She flatlined for a little bit and she came back and she said, I told my sister that I have, that she's going to have to wait for me because I wanted to start a new chapter with you, Kyle. And that was just this, oh my goodness, that just, I felt happy, heartwarming tears. Like I thought Marley was going to die and rejoin her sister. And Marley just said she wanted to be with Kyle and that, Oh my God, that, that moment right there, that really tug in the heartstrings. It did. That was a really good moment right there. I'm just glad they were able to get their happy ending after all. So anyway, on to the final book. The last book I'm going to be talking about in today's video is You've Reached Sam. And the reason why this book made me cry it's because Julie had to say her one final goodbye to Sam. That moment when Sam told Julie that he can't talk with her forever and that Julie's going to have to grieve over his death eventually. It was going to be like one of those moments where you're going to have to prepare yourself for that moment. And that's what happened. I was preparing for the tears to come in. I was like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. But as soon as Julie... And Sam said their final goodbyes, and then she had to hang up and not answer the phone again. That was <laughs> sad. But the real tearjerker came in as soon as Sam left in that a voicemail for Julie to listen to. The reason why Sam, in the afterlife, picked up the phone for Julie to answer is because Sam wanted to hear Julie's voice again. He didn't want to move on without hearing her voice. And that was, that's true love right there. That is true love right there. And if a loved one ever wanted to talk to their, to their loved one, just to say their, say some things to them, that was just, I'm not crying. It's just, I'm trying to process all of this. It was just, it was really good. And then Julie she listened to that voicemail over and over until she was able to remember it word by word until she was able to move on and go on with her life. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the reasons why these books made me cry. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!